Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In name is only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Devil honest to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone, who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this uh, post you see right here. This is on X, formerly known as Twitter. It says, um, face of Jesus unveiled by AI using shroud of Turin after astonishing discovery. Amen. All right. And it's just this image right here. <laughs> okay. This image right here is who they say that AI is making to see they were making it out to be, the, uh, you know, the true image of the Lord, which is not true. All right. This image is not biblical. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to play, uh, well, let me um, show some more of these uh, tweets. All right. Because you got, look, look, this is another one. All right. They're making these images. All right. That's not, um. So look, Jesus appeared to me in my room at one time in my room. Th these are exactly the facial structures he had that I observed. This was a painting done by a young girl who also had a vision of Jesus. Her name is Akani or whatever. So people are having, you know, and if this, if this image appears to you in your room, that's a demon, man. Okay, that's a demon. Because all it takes for is for you to read your Bible and find out what the Lord looks like. And majority of you Christians, you don't know, oh, look, this one right here. We've seen this, seen this one before. <laughs> There's more. All right, but majority of you Christians, look, somebody, look, somebody, look, look, this Jake woman say he was a black man. How is that hair like wool? All right, but majority of you Christians, you, you, you don't, you don't actually read the Bible. You don't even really believe in the Bible. Here's the, the shroud, which is basically the, they're, they're trying to say that this is the blanket that was put over him, you know, when he was laid to rest and this image was impressed on it. All right. And this is what they're trying to say. Um... <laughs> so you see these images yeah people actually get get this tattooed on their body which the bible says you're not supposed to put any uh markings on on, on on your flesh you're not supposed to be marking your body up but they'll mark their bodies up with a false image of the lord right this right here is another image so christians don't actually read the bible because if you read the bible you're not going to you're not going to see any of these images being described in the bible okay look at this it's another one too. Stop with the, the the black Jesus with the damn quick weave, man. That hey, that that's not scriptural. So lucky it's raining, so that's the noise in the back you hear. But there was a um. Let me see. There was a particular comment I wanted to read before I go any further. All right. Let me see. Bear with me one second. Let's find this comment. Looks looks similar to Russell Brand from the nose up, right? All right, so they're pushing these images of the Lord that's not biblical. We're going to show you what the Bible says according, you know, to, to, to what the, the Lord will look like. It says, although I believe Jesus Christ is real, this is uh, somebody named Eric. Uh, although I believe Jesus Christ is real, I don't think this is, which the Lord's true name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Lord's true name is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach in ancient Hebrew. Although I believe Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is real, I don't think this is an accurate image considering the fact that ai uses a lot of existing data from the internet to generate an image it's like building a house out of old bricks and i thought that was very very uh, uh a very pivotal thing that he said right there man it's very important because that's true ai uses uh it's like using a uh building a house out of old bricks all right and that's what ai that's all ai does okay it's just you uses what's already on the internet and come up with these images but this right here is the latest one all right uh uh, uh he, he he looks like a, a edomite hippie you know a, 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 you know your average meth head walking down the street all right but that's not biblical so let's let's uh show you what he looks like according to the bible all right so it says um this is revelation chapter third chapter one verse 13 let me let me let, matter of fact let me just grab it over here salakia let's grab it in the scriptures it says um revelation chapter one verse um getting right to the point verse 13 it says and in the seven and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with the garment down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle so uh the john uh john the revelator he is seeing 
um, how the Lord looks. Okay, he 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 is he is describing to you how the Lord looks. Now, when it says in the midst of the seven candlesticks, that's the menorah, which represents the seven churches of Asia Minor. Okay, that's why you have seven candlesticks. The Jews have nine candlesticks, which is not biblical as well. All right, it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. And I want to go into this word wool real quick, just to see what it says. Just to see what it says. All right. It says, um, well, it doesn't say much conveniently, but uh, I believe in, in one of the, these dictionaries or I, I've read it before where it says, uh, hair like the Negroes. Okay. So, um, and you, and you, you can compare it to like a sheep's wool. All right. If you see a sheep, all right, their hair or their fur looks more like this right here. Okay. Ra ra rather than this right here okay that shaggy stuff all right so let me go back it said in his feet like unto fine brass uh oh no it's lucky his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire and you don't see that in those images it says his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his and the voice and his voice as the sound of many waters now bringing it back right here this this right here this image comes from uh the uh, depiction of Caesarea Borgia okay which is not biblical okay that's where they get these images from of a so-called white uh Jesus right but according to the bible as we just read he had hair like wool as white as snow and this in this individual you know this man as you see right here on the paper they look just alike all right so if the lord came back you know to the earth today he will look more like this rather than this all right and all those other pictures you saw in that thing, he ain't Middle Eastern, okay, as they say, oh, well, he was Middle Eastern looking, which Middle East, Middle East is, is a direction, okay, but in that land, you know, the people were dark skinned, but the Lord in particular was a so-called black man, all right, who people today call black, all right, and let me see, um, and this is the thing about AI, okay, AI, like he said, that individual said, AI uses old, uh, or existing images, to create an image well this right here is an image that one of the brothers created in the camp all right of our lord yahweh shine he does great jobs with these um with, with this artwork he, he uses the ai though all right but this is a more biblical depiction of our lord than what you've seen in that post okay the hair like wool skin like bronze as if it burns in a furnace all right so you know be mindful of this garbage that they're pushing out there okay now with ai you can only go so far but this is much farther and better, a better, a much farther and better description than what, what we saw in that post. OK, to say the least, according to the scriptures. But um, let me go right here. I'm going to close it. I don't want to make this too long. Second Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty seven for evil shall be put out and the seat shall be quenched. And that's what, that right there. This right here is the seat, man. All right. This is the seat. They deceive the whole world with this. This is really white supremacy because it's not in the Bible and they use this image. OK, and other images like it to, you know, put the four white supremacy. OK, to make it seem like the Lord, OK, who was a Jew or Israelite, OK, look like these these heathens, which is not true. OK, the Lord was a dark skinned man. OK, and he died the death of, 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 of a dark skinned man. All right. He 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 was persecuted. He was hated. You know. They'll try to use this too. I believe somebody said or AI said this was this was, you know, how he looked too. It, it ain't even got the white and woolly hair. Okay, so it's it's, it's off, man. It's off, alright. It says here is the realistic depiction of the person in the shroud of Turin based on the images image provided left. Let me know if you need any further adjustments or details. So this and this is what it looks like according to that that uh you know that that shroud or whatever. Which that's not biblical. All you gotta do is read your Bible, okay? And this is the, the image that the, the, the you know that they post all over you know in the media and the movies. So that's all. Bringing it back, Second Ezra chapter six verse tw four twenty seven. For evil should be put out. And I do this for you new listeners, and people that's new that's watching, tuning in. This might be your first time watching one of these videos. Stop believing the lies, okay? You got Jake's, our people that are still trying to push this image of white Jesus and God loves everybody. That is not biblical, 
we, we went into it over and over again, time and time again. Okay, but the Lord said that um, as his ways are, are, are plain unto the holy, they are a stumbling block unto the wicked. It says, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And in these last days, the truth is being declared, man. Okay? And people still, you know, following lies, man. You know? Plantation Christianity. Lies. It says, um, John chapter 4, verse 22, Ye know not what you, you worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews or the Israelites. So these people don't even know what they're worshiping. They have no idea what they are partaking in when, when they, you know, um, dropping these images and praying to, to whatever they praying to. It says, but the hour cometh, the time is coming, and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You see, so you can't come, you know, trying to worship the Lord according to your feelings or how you feel or what AI say. You got to worship him according to the spirit and according to truth, man. All right. And the Bible tells us how, how you know, describes what the Lord looked like. And these images that we're seeing right here is not biblical. This is not it, man. All right. And they do this to, 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 to forward, you know, like I said, white supremacy. OK, which is being destroyed in these last days. The seat shall be, uh, uh, you know, quenched, man, and taken out of the way. And the truth is going to flourish in the earth. And that's what we see in these last days. That's the point, though. I pray this lesson for Edifice and Hopeful Lakes. So quickly in the spirit. So lucky for the noise. I couldn't control the rain. But, hey, I pray it's been edifying. Shalom. I'm going to show all the above.